What's up guys? Today's video is on the top 5 best Android phones in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. If you are looking for a mid-range Android phone, the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is the best mid-range alternative in 2022. Samsung also has a great A-series phone, the Galaxy A53 5G. It's an awesome alternative to the Pixel 6a. The 6.5-inch AMOLED screen gets bright and operates more smoothly, thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate, plus it has longer software support, 4 OS upgrades and 5 years of security updates. The reason why it's not our top pick? Performance is good, but things can get a little stuttery when you try to juggle many apps at once, the Pixel 6a just offers a more consistent experience. The battery can last more than a day, sometimes close to two depending on usage, and the camera system holds its own, though the Pixel 6a has an edge. There's no headphone jack on the phone, no wireless charging, nor is there a charging brick in the box, but you do get a micro SD card slot if you want to expand the 128GB of included storage. It frequently dips to $350, so try to buy it on sale. Works on all three major US networks. Up next at number 4, is the OnePlus 10 Pro, one of the best flagship Android phone in 2022. OnePlus latest flagship phone is good but not great. It's a spiffy looking device with powerful hardware, including a 120Hz OLED screen that gets bright, speedy performance and some of the fastest wired and wireless charging you'll find in the US. Its camera system doesn't best the likes of the Pixel 6 or Samsung's Galaxy S22, but you can take some nice photos on it, and there are a few fun modes thanks to a partnership with camera maker Hasselblad. It'll even get 3 OS upgrades and 4 years of security updates, though we'll have to see if OnePlus can match the speed of its aforementioned peers in delivering them. You should know that there's no millimeter wave 5G here, just sub-6, which is odd for a phone that costs this much. Also, the T-Mobile model has an IP67 water resistance rating, but the unlocked version doesn't. It should be fine when submerged in water, but it'd be nice to have extra peace of mind. OnePlus has permanently dropped the price by $100 from $899 to $799, which is still a bit much. Next, at number 3, is the Google Pixel 6, best camera phone and best value Android phones in 2022. It's hard not to like Google's Pixel 6. At $599, it's among the best deal on a flagship phone, delivering great performance, more than a full day of battery life, and a pretty OLED screen with a respectable 90Hz refresh rate. It includes many top-end features, like wireless charging, robust 5G, and IP68 water resistance. The 6.4-inch screen is large, but the flat edges make it more manageable to hold. The camera system bests nearly every other Android phone too. You can capture detailed daytime photos and sharp low-light scenes, and video quality has greatly improved, thanks to Google's Tensor chip, though it's still not as good as Samsung phones. The same goes for software support, this Pixel will receive 5 years of security updates, and 3 OS upgrades, which is excellent, but it's not as good as what Samsung offers. This processor enables a host of helpful smart features as well, such as dramatically improved voice typing and automatically translating messages that arrive in another language. Some things I don't like? The fingerprint sensor isn't too accurate and it initially had several bugs that have now been largely fixed. Google has also teased the Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, which will be powered by a next-gen Tensor processor, but that's all we know about it. The Pixel 6 is still a great phone to buy, but if you want the latest and greatest, wait until the fall for its successor. Works on all three major US networks. Moving on to number 2. We have Samsung Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra, the best flagship phones of 2022. If you want every single facet of your smartphone to be the best it can be, well, that's where Samsung's Galaxy S22 range comes in. There's the S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra. All of them have 120Hz screens that get tremendously bright, stereo speakers that sound wonderful, and enough horsepower to run demanding games just fine. Each model gets bigger than the last, so if you want a big phone, go for the 6.8-inch Ultra. Stick with the 6.1-inch S22 for the smallest. The 6.6-inch S22 Plus might be a happy medium though, you get a pretty large screen and more than a day of battery life, with average use. 
the S22 and its smaller battery capacity managed just about a full day for me, but you might need to top it up if you spend a lot of time on your phone. These have all the features you'd want in a phone, including a very reliable triple camera system, but the S22 Ultra goes two steps further by including a 10x optical zoom camera, one of the only phones in the US with that capability, and a built-in S Pen stylus, just like Galaxy Notes of yesteryear. If you doodle a lot or sign dozens of documents a day, why not both? That might be enticing. All S22 phones will get four Android OS upgrades and five years of security updates, besting Google Pixel phones in software support. Finally, at number one, we have the Google Pixel 6a, the best Android phone in 2022. Google's Pixel A series phones have been some of our favorites for a few years now, and that hasn't changed with the new Pixel 6a, though its lead is narrowing. It's powered by Google's Tensor chip, which means you're getting some of the best performance for the money, and it supports all the same great, and helpful, software smarts as the flagship Pixel 6 series. My favorites include assistant voice typing to type up accurate messages with just my voice, hold for me, so I never have to listen to hold music, and now playing, which tells me what song is playing nearby without my having to ask. I also love its size, at 6.1 inches, the screen is comfortable to manage with one hand. Speaking of which, the OLED panel gets plenty bright, making it easy to see on sunny days. Sadly, it's stuck at a 60Hz screen refresh rate. Unlike its predecessors, the Pixel 6a doesn't have the same dual camera system as its flagship counterpart, instead relying on the sensors we've seen since the Pixel 3. It still snaps excellent photos that beat out nearly every phone at this price, but you'll notice low-light images can be quite grainy and lacking in detail. It would have been nice if Google had kept the Pixel tradition of having a flagship camera in a mid-range phone. This phone will get 5 years of security updates, which is great, but only 3 Android OS upgrades, which is less than Samsung offers for most of its phones, odd considering Google maintains the Android operating system. The 6A is built quite well, with an IP67 rating for water resistance and a reliable fingerprint sensor, but you might be miffed that there's no wireless charging, no headphone jack, and no charging brick in the box. Thanks for watching. For more details, follow the links given below in the description section. And if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.